Amber, thank you so much for coming on my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, and I know today we want to really talk about this feminine energy um, and just share our learnings with each other. And so do you want to share a little bit about your YouTube channel and what you do? Sure. Well, thank you so much for having me, Alicia. And I have to say your videos are amazing. And I'm so glad that we uh, connected in this way and we're able to do this video because I feel like we understand each other and we connected on Instagram and started like talking about feminine energy and how it's changed our life. And so that's pretty much what I talk about on my channel as well. Like, um, you know, for me personally, I went through a huge transition. Like, um, you know, I found myself as a single mom um, in my life and, you know, that was a challenge in itself. And so I went through yeah. a lot of ups and downs, but um, one of the things that helped me through my transition what I call glowing up as an empowered feminine is feminine energy and living in my femininity and standing in my feminine power. And so I like to talk about those kind of things on my channel and how it really is for me when it comes to, I talk about glowing up and I talk about reinvention and I talk about transformation, but at the end, at its core is just evolving as a person. And for me, I found that being more in my feminine energy was something that was so natural to me that was missing out of my life. Because for a long time, I found myself, at the time I didn't realize it, but I was operating more in my masculine energy, my business, my relationships, and every aspect of my life, I was in my masculine energy. And I, I can't say that it served me. It served me to an extent, but I did find myself burning out exhausted, not being happy and all these things. And I couldn't understand why, because I was like, I'm doing everything right. I did everything I was supposed to do. Right. Like, I'm like, logically, this makes sense. Like I did everything I was supposed to do, but I wasn't finding success in certain areas. I wasn't happy. I didn't feel fulfilled. And so it's interesting how all of that <laughs> can <laughs> come into it. Yeah. yeah, it led me yeah. to learn about it and everything. Yeah, and I think as well, because you've written a book, um, and I think as well by having children, and then as part of being a mom, and particularly if you're a single mom, and then you're working as well, everything we're doing is really from that place of masculine, and it's hard to sometimes really come in and sink into the feminine, and we, we can become really successful from that masculine area and using that masculine sort of driven energy but then it, it comes a time where I had the same as you too and I, I felt as if you know something's missing here and even to the point of not feeling um so as if I could be loved and feeling as if I you know I can really relax and be in this place of receiving and so then when I learned about feminine energy and started watching videos on this it really helped me to start understanding you know what what exactly this is and how I can bring it into my life and then what it does to um you know affect and change your life and not only does it help you in a relationship but helps you as um a person and just feeling good mm -hmm. and so did you find that as well for you when you started to understand it that you were feeling um better inside yourself and as a person and just in, in general every day? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, I think that, um, you know, a lot of people say, okay, masculine energy and like, it's almost um, necessary with business. It's necessary in certain aspects of our life. I would almost disagree with that. I don't think that it has to be that way. Honestly, yeah. like when it came to like my business, I was mainly operating in my masculine energy and it did work to an extent, but it led to burnout yeah. for me. Yeah. And, um, and I think about, I kind of look back at it and I'm just like, why didn't I see the signs before? It's because I wasn't here. I wasn't really tapped into how I was feeling. I was all in my head, not operating from my intuition. I was not 
uh, listening to my body. I was not listening to my heart and the things that I felt were right. I was listening or I was paying more attention to logic and strategy and tactics and all these things that make sense on paper. But at the end of the day, I needed to be here in my intuition. Now, one of my favorite entrepreneur, entrepreneurs, and she is a billionaire. She is a creator of space. Have you ever heard of her? Sarah Blakesy? Yes, 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 I do. I've heard of her, yes. And so, so you yeah, and one of the, the um, interviews that really resonated with me is the one she did with uh, Lewis Howes. And at the time that I listened to that interview, I didn't understand what she was saying. I totally understand what she was saying at, at this point in my life. Um, but she, one of the things she said in that interview is um, she wanted to see, cause she, she's very feminine in my, she's like the embodiment of feminine energy, if you ask me. And I always admire that about her. And one of the things she said in that interview was, I wanted to see if you could create uh, a business, a successful business operating from a feminine approach. Yeah. And at that time that I heard that, I didn't really tr truly understand what she was saying. She was talking about, you know, masculine, taking a masculine approach and a feminine approach and how she has um, managed to create an amazing, beautiful, successful billion dollar empire operating in her feminine energy from a feminine approach. And I think that it can be, um, it, can, it can limit us if we think that we have, the only way for us to be successful in our business is to be in our masculine energy. And I don't think that that's the case. Now, does it work for some people? Yes, absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with that. However, for me, like I said, it led to burnout because it wasn't natural to me. I was in my head, I was not listening to my body and not operating from intuition. And that's one of the things she said in that interview too, is that she always operated from intuition. And there's a lot of successful female entrepreneurs that that's how they live their life is through intuition. Men too, there's some men that do that too, operate in their lives from feminine energy, operating from intuition. So, um, it really depends, I think. It's like what's serving you and what feels right. Um, I just know like it just feels more natural for me to be more in my feminine energy only because I can't handle the stress. I can't handle, um, you know, that, that like forceful kind of energy because it doesn't feel good to me. It really doesn't. So I forgot what the question was. <laughs> no, that's okay. It's okay. I love you talking. Know that that's really insightful. And um, last time I was listening to a podcast and um, there was uh, two women in that talking about feminine energy. And actually that was part of the conversation about how one of them in particular has learned to run her business from this feminine energy place and, you know, more nurturing, slowing down, using the intuition and she said about how successful that has now become. And whereas, you know, in the past, this feminine energy that she had, which was not so much in business, but was in relationships, was like this real extreme of feminine energy, which I think can happen for us. It's happened for me at a point in my life where um, the side of feminine is a really like extreme and submissive side or a side that um, we believe or we have a thought around that being a female is not able to speak up for ourselves or say what we need or let somebody take control and I've also noticed in talking to a lot of women particularly in their 30s and are trying to learn and work out about feminine and masculine energy where they they understood that the idea of this is that to be in your feminine and particularly you know in a relationship or whatever it may be that it's about doing what somebody else wants you to do or what a man might want. And I've noticed that there comes that resistance from that and those 
a belief that it's like, well, this part of feminine, I don't really want to be feminine. I want to be masculine because I have a, my opinion. I have my say. And that's where when I started learning about this, I never looked at it in that way where it was about being submissive or letting somebody take the lead. And I noticed there seems to be a lot of um, belief or thoughts around that feminine energy in that way and that's why people want to resist that because it's as if they have to squish a part of who they are down to to impress or get somebody else did you also um you know notice that or where that resistance comes from or those ideas around feminine energy that are really um not people are not so open to because of the way it may have been you know described yeah, I definitely felt that way. I, I resisted it myself because I thought, um, because of, you know, programming, conditioning, whatever the case was, I mean, I thought that it was being submissive and not being strong and, and that kind of thing. But I will say this, feminine energy is so powerful. And this is how it's, I feel like it's really changed the game up for me personally when it comes to that. Because for a long time, I was operating from logic, my head, and not my feelings, my heart space, which is feminine energy, your intuition. And so when you can tap into that, when, it's, when things start not feeling right, and this is where boundaries come in, you start setting up boundaries and you start like, well, you know what? That doesn't feel good. That doesn't feel good to me. So I need to make a boundary here. And so when I was in my head and when I was operating more of my masculine energy, I wasn't thinking like that. I wasn't thinking about my feelings and how I felt in that moment that it didn't feel right to me. So those boundaries got blurred. Like, you know, I didn't even think about setting up boundaries because I was thinking about like strategies. You know, I was not thinking about how I felt in that moment. So when you can come back, to the present moment. And I talk about this all the time on my channel, being in the present moment and say, how, how am I feeling right now? Do I feel good or don't I feel good? When you feel like, okay, this doesn't feel right. I need to set some boundaries here. And that's what I've been learning recently. And that's where it's really changed the game because I can honestly say when I was more in my masculine energy and I was thinking about, you know, how to do things the right way because you're supposed to do things the right way instead of like being here and like, this doesn't feel right to me. I was being walked over. I was, wow. people were crossing over these boundaries that should have been up yep. because I wasn't thinking about how I felt in those moments and how it didn't feel right. And when I started coming back and started to rest in my feminine, my feminine energy and realize, that, okay, this doesn't feel right to me. This can't ha be happening in my relationship and my business, my friendships, whatever the case is. So that's where that emotion being in your heart space really, really helps you in setting boundaries in your life and not being a doormat not being in your head thinking of how somebody going to take this exactly yeah. actually in in reverse of what what people think it's like you know rather than thinking how somebody gonna take this from me but it's like i i feel this and i'm safe to express this and coming from yeah your place of real feeling and what's truly going on for you it's the opposite of what we some people can tend to think or the way it's been spoken about and I love how you've said that that is really spot on and and beautiful yeah oh thank you I think and I think that's where a lot of misconceptions come in because like that's where it really it's and it's been very recent for me because especially like in relationships you like you said it was more about like I'm in my head what are they going to think and how things going to play out and this, that, and the other. And I'm like thinking all these things instead of like being here. Yes. Okay, I'm here. This doesn't feel right to me. So I need to remove myself from this situation. 
I deserve better than this. I deserve better treatment than this. It's not right. Instead of like, okay, logically it makes sense, but it doesn't, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And that's really lovely. And uh, I am so grateful for you to share that with us and hopefully give people so much inspiration, even for me, um, you know, to think more about, yes, you know, coming to your heart and really trusting your heart and your feelings and knowing that from that place, what great can come of that. And so I love that you've shared this and it's saying that, you know, like we can be in our feminine energy and we can share boundaries at the same time. And in fact, it can come even more so and better from being in the feminine and expressing the boundary and coming across in a in a beautiful way, in a soft way, but you know, hey, my, my boundary is here and, and I need that to be respected. And it's so lovely. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, I, and I love how you said trusting your heart. That's amazing. That's beautiful. You know, like I think that um, that's important because, you know, often we lose that. And I, I want to say this too. Like I, t I ask my clients, like every time that we come into a session, I said, how are you feeling today? And so many of them, don't know how they're feeling. That's important, right? Like we, we got to understand how we're feeling. We're just like, are they're just like, oh, I'm doing it's a good day. Yeah, it's like a conditioning that, oh, I'm okay. You're so used to saying good or, you know, okay, I'm fine. But, you know, it's throughout that day of we, you know, checked in and gone, how, how am I today? How am I feeling today? Yeah. 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 And I think it's important to check in with yourself every once in a while, like every, you know, different moments of the day, like, how am I feeling right now? Like, you know, that's really important because then it's like, okay, well, let me explore this. Why am I feeling this way? You know? And, um, cause that's, that's intuition. Like that intuition will never steer you, steer you wrong. It's so powerful. And I don't think we give our intuition, our heart, you know, our connection with the divine God, life, whatever you want to call it, enough credit. You yeah. know, we don't give that enough credit. And, um, you know, trusting that and allowing, and I'm at this point in my life where I'm just like surrendering, allowing, I'm like, how can I be of service today? Like, you know, because me being in my head and logically trying to work everything out and work out my life before, wasn't working so I'm like hey I trust I allow I surrender and and that's where you get these beautiful ideas these beautiful downloads and just being you know it's just a beautiful space to be in exactly um, I, I love what you've shared and um, everybody take on board what Amber said because she is um, beautiful successful and really coming from this place of feminine energy and really genuine and um, is, is there anything else that you want to share with us, Amber, before we finish up today's video? Um, anything that, you know, you want to get out there and let people know? I want to say likewise, Alicia. Oh, You're doing yeah. it, girlfriend. You're doing it. Thank you. I'm so <laughs> glad that we were able to connect. Like, um, you know, it's funny, like, because we connect on Instagram and like, I just love getting like our, like exchanging voice messages and things. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you're just so genuine and like and that's so rare and I love it I just have to give you props girlfriend <laughs> and uh, Amber's in Colorado and I'm in Australia so we've had um, a difference in time normally when yeah. I wake up there's a message from you and probably when you wake up there's a message from me right. <laughs> we're working on these you know different time zones but yes it's been great I love to connect with people from all around the world, but you um, have been lovely to connect with. And um, this has been a really good collaboration. I feel like what you've shared is so super insightful. And I wish that I knew this stuff, like going back a few years, but it, it's all the way it's planned. It's meant to be the way that it is. And I think you learn it at the appropriate times when you're ready to learn it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm really grateful for the knowledge that you have that you're able to bring and able to share. Likewise. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so subscribe to her channel, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, check out Amber's channel. I will. I'll put it definitely in the description below. 
um, your Instagram as well. You have really great posts, great videos on there, some lives. So um, a lot of awesome stuff to learn. Thank you.